Welcome to Buzz Around the Globe. He is back. Sam Altman is back at OpenAI, the company that created ChatGPT a year ago. The company had suddenly announced last week that it had dismissed CEO Sam Altman as it no longer had confidence in his ability to lead the Microsoft-backed firm. According to the statement issued by the company, Altman's shock departure follows a deliberative review process by the board, which concluded that he was not consistently candid in his communications with the board, hindering its ability to exercise its responsibilities. Sam Altman, the co-founder and CEO of OpenAI, was ousted from the company due to a lack of candor in his communications with the board of directors. The board concluded that Altman was not consistently transparent and open with them, which hindered their ability to fulfill their responsibilities. This lack of candor likely stemmed from a number of factors, including Altman's ambitious vision for OpenAI and his desire to protect the company's intellectual property. However, the board ultimately felt that Altman's lack of transparency was unacceptable and that it was in the best interests of the company to remove him from his position. Hundreds of staff at OpenAI threatened to quit the leading artificial intelligence company on Monday and join Microsoft. They said they would follow OpenAI co-founder Sam Altman, who said he was starting an AI subsidiary at Microsoft, following his shock sacking from the company whose ChatGPT chatbot has led the rapid rise of artificial intelligence technology. In a letter, some of OpenAI's most senior staff members threatened to leave the company if the board did not get replaced. Included in the list of names of signers was Ilya Sutskeva, the company's chief scientist and one of members of the four-person board that voted to oust Altman. Sutskeva, meanwhile, had recently posted on X that he regretted the role he played in Altman's exit and didn't mean to harm OpenAI in any way. It also included top executive Mira Murati, who was appointed to replace Altman as CEO when he was removed on Friday, but was herself demoted over the weekend. Microsoft assured the OpenAI employees that there are positions for all at this new subsidiary should they choose to join. Reports said as many as 500 of OpenAI's 770 employees signed the letter. Now finally after pressure from many stakeholders like Microsoft and the employees, Altman is back. According to experts, OpenAI differs from typical venture-backed companies as its non-profit parent, OpenAI Nonprofit, prioritizes humanity over investor interests. This distinctive structure gives employees more leverage in influencing the board than traditional venture capitalists. OpenAI is in fierce competition with others, including Google and Meta, as well as startups like Anthropic and Stability AI, to develop its own AI models. Generative AI platforms such as ChatGPT are trained on vast amounts of data to enable them to answer questions, even complex ones, in human-like language. They are also used to generate and manipulate imagery. But the tech has triggered warnings about the dangers of its misuse, from blackmailing people with deepfake images to the manipulation of images and harmful disinformation. This controversy just might be the beginning of the moral and ethical tussles that will arise as AI rises. Do tell us what you think about this video in comments section. 